Tell us what's going on down here at uh, World Trade Center. A lot. <laughs> so, Italy, yes, culinary opportunity and experience, and the variety of foods that are available there. Nothing short of extraordinary. The shops down below, 500,000 square feet of shops of every kind, nature, description, uh, you name it, and it will be there. Tower 4, as you see, is completed. Tower 1 is completed. 7 is completed. 3, as you can see, is under construction. The Four Seasons Hotel. And then the last piece of this entire puzzle will be Tower 2, the final linchpin in the totality of the rebuilding of the World Trade Center. When that building is done, which will be around 2021, uh, my job will be finished here. Who are some of the tenants that are looking at two World Trade? Well, you have an extraordinary array of possibilities because you're here in the city of New York. Mm -hmm. And New York has a vast number of large corporate space users. And they're in the worlds of finance, they're also in the worlds of media, they're in the worlds of communication, they're in the worlds of advertising, they're in the worlds of consultancy. I mean, you've got, you've got so much. And when you have mass transit that can bring people together from all of the boroughs and all of the outlying areas into a location, and our location is unique because we have 11 mass transit facilities. So it's, a, it's now a 24-7 community which is unlike anything it used to be. So all of the major space users look at this as being opportunistic. The buildings that people currently occupy are buildings that are 60 years of age or older. Those buildings have no technology in them because technology didn't exist when those buildings were built. And so to retrofit those buildings with technology, today's requirements, is extremely difficult and terribly inconvenient and enormously costly. Much better to move into a facility where it's part of the new construction, it's part of the building. Move in, occupy the space, and it's all there. And that's why I'm optimistic about finding someone who will occupy Tower 2. Could you tell us a little bit about the process of securing an anchor tenant for a property like Two World Trade Center? It's a major endeavor uh, because of several factors. It's a building with three million square feet of space. It's huge. It is intended to provide for a major corporate, um, and it could provide for um, any number of possible uses. Um, the buildings down here are all designed for high density, density occupancy. And of course, these buildings have the latest in technology involved in them. So you've got you've got the most up to date equipment technology is is all over these buildings uh, and by virtue of that major corporations that have high technology requirements find these this particularly significant to them literally thousands of people are involved in different aspects of it and after about 14 15 16 months uh, a negotiation should be completed and the transaction should be ready to move forward into construction. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, Larry. Max, it's a pleasure.